What is going on, YouTube? How's it going? Hopefully everybody's having a terrific day. You know me, I'm jonesing to open up some more packs. The junkie I am. Cardboard junkie over here. But uh, today we're going to be opening up MetaZoo Nightfall First Edition Booster Box. It's been a while since I've opened up a booster box. Last Nightfall I opened was a couple of spell books. And those were absolute garbage. Um, you know, it's fun and all that, but... Uh, Two spell books, 20 packs, one single full hollow. So it feels bad. Still have some more that I'm gonna open up. Could never uh, get enough disappointment in my life. So probably have like maybe two more spell books I'm gonna open up. We're gonna cut right into this. Check this out though. I have a question. So here is a New York Comic Con holographic card, and it is signed by five different people. We got uh, Metazu Mike. Adele. We have the artist right here, Sioban Bailey. And then we have three on the left here, and the the three left here are um, three people who worked on that MetaZoo like 90s sounding um, theme song. So this is accompanied with a booster pack. So this is first edition um, Nightfall booster pack, and it's got the same five autographs on it there my bad so what i want to do this is amazing right so what i want to do is i want to send these in for grading plus um authentication of, auto of autographs my question is i don't know too much about that i've never sent in any autographs or anything only cards i'm wondering how many autographs can you send in and get it signed or i mean authenticated because i know they do put them on the label I, I've looked around and I've looked for this online naturally, right? And um, I haven't really found too much information on it. I have seen one card on eBay that had two autographs on it and had both of the names on the label. There's not that much space on the label. So that was like the max. They can't put any more stuff on the label. But my question is, has anybody seen like more than two autographs or have you experienced it? What are they going to do it? Will they just reject it? Too many autographs or like... I just really don't, I don't know what to expect, but I do want to get them. Like, you know, I'm willing to work with them be like, yo, just put Mike Waddell and uh, Daly on the on the label and then, you know, just put authenticated or whatever you have to. Um, and then leave the three artists who worked on the song out. That would be fine with me. But anyways, I reached out to them with an email and uh, I just, you know, I mean, I spoke to someone, but they don't... <laughs> I ask the questions and they just kind of like, they don't answer the questions you're asking. They just give you these generic answers, which is customer service nowadays for everybody, which is unfortunate. It takes them like a week to reply. And then I replied and I was like, yeah, that didn't really answer my question. My question is this, this and that. And then they gave me another, well, a week later, gave me another generic reply. And I was just like, all right, screw this. So anyways, if anybody knows, please leave a comment. Let me know. Um, but I've wasted enough of your time. Let's open this box. All right, we're doing it. Oh, man. So these have seen a little bit of a price jump. They kind of went back down around 230 and they're kind of back up around 245 which is it's only 15 bucks. But it could be the start of a, you know, an upwards trend, or they can kind of sink back down in a day or two. Um, I do own a few of these, but... You know, I think when Wilderness comes out and then, you know, we see more people like myself opening these, they're going to run thin and there's no second edition, as they're saying. So when they, you know, run thin, I think the price is going to go up and I'd like to own a few before that happens. All right. Oh, we left one in there. There we go. I'm not sure what's what. Just go like that. That sounds good. All right. Okay, so there's plenty of stuff that I need. Um, it's been a while since I've opened this. Oh my gosh. My memory's failing me. I need, um, so I, I still need a couple of Mothmen. I have the non hollow, that's the only one. I need. Um, we open it up. Uh, we've opened up enough of this. I'm not gonna really look at commons and uncommons until, you know, obviously Valentine's uh, promos and whatnot, but not until uh, 
wilderness. When we get to wilderness, I'll slow roll and we'll look at commons and uncommons. And I, I'm always going to call them that. It's tough for me not to. Um, I mean silver and bronze. Alaskan Vortex. Followed by Twin Meteors Full Hollow. Cool. Very nice. Let's leave up the hollows and the reverse hollows. I'll save the rares a little later. Just, there we go. I lost my train of thought. I forgot what I was just talking about. Um, oh yeah, I need a uh, Grim Reaper hollow and reverse. Uh, no, I don't. Hollow and reverse hollow. I'm telling you, I've opened up too much Crypto Nation in the meantime. Okay, we got Prison Beam and a Reverse Boogeyman. Got on the wrong stack. All right, come on, get in the game. Uh, that's a Reverse. Okay, I see what I'm doing here. All right. <laughs> Ah, uh, so, man, PSA did a, uh, like, a little special the other week, like, last week. And, um, you know, if, you, if you're a PSA member, then they were um, giving some allocations out. Five allocations at $50 a card for Express. Divine Covenant, followed with a full hollow potion seller. And, um... So you had to log in at, I think it was 9 a.m. on a certain day and be a member. So I'm all of these things. So then I logged in and I was at work, mind you, which isn't the easiest thing to do, but I was at work and I was making it happen. And I logged in and I logged in on the second and I was fifth, uh, se fifth, 700th in line. Got a non hollow obsidian obelisk. Yes, and a headless coal miner. Yes, I've been hunting that card. Let's go nice and early. Take a look at this bad boy. Nice. Excellent. All right, let's get some Mothmen now. And some Grim Reapers, please. Mothmen, you know, for obvious reasons. And Grim Reapers, my card of choice in this set. I've opened two booster boxes and some spell books. And I'm missing all of the hollow kinds of both of those cards. So it's unfortunate. Anywho, I was 700th in line in PSA. I made it all the way down to one fairly quickly. Old books, crying tree and a full hollow abduction. Cool. Oof. And then when I got to, um, when I got to number one, they said, oh, we're sorry, but unfortunately you're not eligible for this event, which is bullcrap. I got a, I got an email saying you are eligible for this event. Do this at this time on this day. And then I also just went over the rules and I've, I'm, I've done everything to be eligible for the event. So, you know, what am I going to do? I'm screwed at this point. So I jump back in line and surprise, I'm number 8,000 in line. And, you know, the event's already been going for like 10 minutes now or whatever. Boil over. Need a hollow one of these. All right. Adam Ackler. Full hollow. Sick. So then, you know, what am I going to do? I'm screwed. So I sit there in line, 8,000. I made it down to like Maryland, I don't know, 4,000 or so. And then it says all the allocations are used. Better luck next time, whatever. Get bent. So, like, that was super, super annoying. Um, you know, my, my last PSA uh, return that I did, they had it for, like, 14 months. And then um, they have another one of my um, submissions, and they've had that one for, it's going to be a year now. So I should be getting that back soon, a couple months. Oh, these cards are not looking that great of condition. All right. Um, another Alaskan Vortex? And Amy Cuck, reverse hollow. Only our second reverse hollow. And, uh, 
So, you know, I wanted to get some cards at a faster return rate. <laughs> Even if they're 50 bucks a card, I got some bangers that I could send in, you know? Like this? I mean, I don't know if that would have qualified. I might be sending that in anyways. I'm trying to figure out the details. I think it, you know, it's different because it has autographs as well. Okay, we got a non holo Momo, followed by a Murfreesboro Mud Monster. Reverse. I need quite a few cards from this set, so I'm not 100% um, sure on all of the cards that I need. Like Cryptid Nation, I could probably name you. Second edition, I could probably name um, name all the cards that I need. I think I need 16 total cards for a second edition. So I will be opening up yet another booster box. They're cheap enough. Um, we'll do that later. We've opened up quite a bit. I think four of them already. Yeah. Okay, Wood Devil of Coo County, and a River of Time. Nice. I think I think I need that. That's actually a, a really good card. And I don't think I have one. So I would love to get a Windigo. I have pulled all forms of Windigo. I would love to get another one. Um, I'm trying to build a PSA submission, like I was saying. So I wouldn't mind pulling some good cards to send in from MetaZoo. Um, I've got plenty of Pokemon cards to send in. And I have a vast uh, Magic the Gathering collection, but, you know, not really looking to grade Magic the Gathering. Divine Covenant and a Napa Rebobs. Reverse Hollow. Did not tell you my status on Napa Rebobs. I might not even have one. Okay. I do. I think I have a non hollow Yeah, so this is uh Yep, so I have the non hollow on that one. Cool. I think I needed that. Which leads me to uh, one more thing, is I want to open up Abduction Reverse with a Thunderbird Reverse. I want to open up, not working, I should just set them down, use the other stack. I want to open up first edition base set box. I really do. I said I, it was too rich for my blood and I would never do it, but you know what? Back uh, before Pokemon's Vivid Voltage came out, I ordered up, I pre-ordered two cases of Vivid Voltage prior to its release. Hype was huge at the time. I got them at a really good price, like 80 something dollars a box. Frank Shaw's Gargoyle, Born from the Earth, full hollow. I think I need that as well. Perfect. And um, as may, many know, there was um, allocation issues uh, with Vivid Voltage. And I did not get any of my Vivid Voltage booster boxes. I got none of them, but I held tough. And I was like, I'm not gonna cancel my pre-order and get that money back, even though I could. I, didn't, I wasn't really interested in buying anything else at the time. So I let them hold my money, which is crazy. And um, I think over a year later, I think it took over a year, they fulfilled my order at that cost. Now, the reason I did not pull my money back is because due to allocation issues, booster boxes were like $200 for Vivid Voltage or more, I think. Divine Covenant again. We got uh, Bell Witch Reverse, the Snow Cone. Come on, let's get a Grim Reaper. Or a Mothman, come on. This is box number three, can we get one? So, I got my booster boxes, and by this time I had already opened up, you know, I had, you know, I hit the pavement, went to crap loads of targets. I got a bunch of ETBs at um, MSRP. I bought some booster boxes a little over MSRP. We got Righteous Reckoning. We got another full hollow ocean seller. 
That might be the number one full hollow that I pull. Um, so while I was waiting for those pre-orders, I had already opened up an immense amount of Vivid Voltage. A crazy amount, all in this channel, all in past videos, whatever. So when by the time I got my pre-order, I was like, wow, well, it's worth a lot now. But, you know, I don't have the desire to open up this much product. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to sit on it sealed, I guess. Because... We got an injured cold reverse hollow. Ingrid, I think I said Ingrid. <laughs> um, but so I, what happened is when I got my allocation, so did everybody else, and that two hundred plus dollar booster box price went all the way down to less than hundred dollars because everybody got it. It flooded the market, and so I was like, all right, well, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm not gonna open it. I guess I'll just sit on it. So I sat on it for a while. It started going up in price. And then what did Pokemon do? They reprinted the entire set again. <laughs> so it got back up to like, I think 140 a box. Let me get the hollow version of this. Okay, a reverse hollow obsidian obelisk. I actually, I actually need that. I can, re I remember that I need that. Nice. So uh, this is a long story because I keep getting interrupted by opening sweet packs really hard to see the reverse on this one but anywho um they reprinted the price plummeted back down to under 100 and i just sat on it well now i had something i want to do i want to open up this first edition booster box here but i don't want to open up that one so what i did is i sold six boxes of vivid voltage they're now up to about 120 a piece i'm not losing money but after you know 13 percent ebay tax and all that crap i'm coming out a little bit ahead but I'm using that money to buy a first edition booster box and I want to open up my third Alaskan Vortex with an Alaskan Vortex full hollow. Pretty nice. Really nice looking hollow though. A lot going on there. All right, last pack of the first side. We're about halfway done now. The sides might have been lopsided. I'm not sure. So I ordered another first edition booster box with the funds I got from those boxes, plus some other, you know, I've been selling some of the duplicate singles that I pull here on the channel on my eBay page. Got a river of time. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I, I remember I needed this one too. The reverse Dark Watchers. I have the full and the non. I needed that reverse. Cool. So at the very least, we're filling in some gaps for my binder set. Nice. So, something to look forward to. In the future, I will open up a first edition a set booster box, Crypto Nation. I'm s totally psyched on that. Totally, totally psyched. Got a Righteous Reckoning non hollow and a Dover Demon Reverse. We've caught up with the reverse hollows but pretty good ratio here so far. non hollow Windigo, it's cool. With another Alaskan Vortex full hollow. That was the last full hollow I pulled. I'd re <laughs> Come on. Come on. You make me beg. You're gonna make me beg for uh, Grim Reaper? Oh, Mothman? Come on. Don't make me beg. Flood the earth. 
with another reverse Napa Rebobs. So, I did see probably at the point of this video, it's probably been a week now, I did see Rudy of Alpha Investments open up a first edition Kryptonation booster box. Now I had already made my decision and I had already ordered the box. And then I saw his video where he opened up an entire box and it had nothing but reverse hollows. 36 packs of reverse hollows. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Probably you have, or at least heard about it. Go check that out, Alpha Investments. I could not believe that. So um, that's scaring the shit out of me. I opened up a box and it was full reverse hollows. Oh, that's so brutal. That is so brutal. Got another Flood the Earth with a full hollow permafrost. Man, I could just not pull the cards that I uh, want to get, which is pretty crazy. I've been trying to get that um, Loveland Frogman from Crypto Nation 2nd Edition. I've opened up, like I've said before, like four booster boxes plus spell books, blisters, etc. I have not pulled a full hollow or reverse hollow Frogman, which is just crazy. Just freaking crazy. Okay. Okay, well, we got the uh, got the non hollow Mothman with a full hollow head, headless horseman. I'm gonna sleeve that Mothman. I should have sleeved that Wendigo too, but I didn't. Even though it's non hollow, it's probably the highest priced non hollow you can get, so. You know? Pretty nice headless horseman there. Non hollow potion seller with a full hollow in injured cold. Definitely doing uh, good with the full hollows in the box. Also, this is the only place you can get a. Um, a god pack or a uh, old scratch so more of the reason to open up these booster boxes it's nice It'd be amazing to get a god pack that would be cool okay non hollow bell witch with a full hollow alaskan vortex Imagine if these were like Mothman, you know? Well, like three non hollows and three full hollows. That would be great. Somebody out there somewhere has got a booster box with it. In fact, uh, Metazoologist had a uh, booster box a while ago at this point, a couple weeks ago. Really nice with the, with the Mothman. All right. Okay, back to back non hollow bell witch with a reverse Apple iPods. Ear, ear pods, AirPods. All right, come on. Practically begging here. Come on. R N Jesus. Let's go. Lightning split, followed up with a third Napa Rebobs reverse. Hmm. A little bit frustrating, booster box. Little bit frustrating. But it can all turn around. We still got a nice little stack here. The duplicates are a little frustrating when they're not the ones you want, but uh, if they were the ones you want, you wouldn't be complaining. Lightning Alley. Ooh, with a nice full hollow righteous reckoning. I think that is one that I need. What happened to this card? Just 
came that. Nice, Righteous Reckoning. A really cool looking card. I think it's got a really nice artwork on it. Very cool. A few more sleeves out here. Well, the Earth Non Hollow and a Murphy's Burrow Mud Monster. Okay. In the reverse. Down to about six packs, roughly. All right. Got Adam Ackler, non hollow. And a full hollow, Dark Watchers. Dynamite token. Righteous Reckoning, non-hollow, and like I mentioned earlier, Potion Seller full hollow. I pull a ton of Potion Seller full hollows, absolute ton of them. Every box has like two. Well, we did have a Mothman show up in the non-hollow form. We haven't seen any sort of Grim Reaper yet. Blood the Earth. Absolute ton of duplicates in this uh, box. And we got a Belled Buzzard in the reverse. Really not sure if I have that. The card I do not pull much. Pretty nice shiny hollow though. Okay, let's go. It's time. Okay, look at this one's a little darker. The border. Don't oh, let me just screw it up real quick. We got the prism beam. Any luck? Oh, prism beam, a full hollow. It's another nice looking one. It's actually really cool looking. Got good little rainbow colors there. Alaskan Vortex with a Jack Frost Reverse Hollow. As long as that first edition box I opened up is is real nice. <laughs> oh, I'd hate to have a dud on that one. It would be amazing. Another uh, non-hollow Bell Witch. And we got a reverse hollow Oklahoma Octopus. Okay, this is it. This is the last pack. Need some last pack magic here. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Is that the card? Did we just get a glimpse of it? From the back? 
Adam Ackler, non-hollow, and the last hit in the box. Yeah, Bellwitch. Oh. Okay, well, shoot. We did get a couple of things that we needed for the binder. Um, overall, not the greatest box. Bellwitch, Prism Beam, Ocean Cellar, Dark Watchers, Righteous Reckoning is pretty cool. I think three Alaskan Vortex, Ingrid Cold, Headless Horseman's cool. Permafrost, always nice. More Alaskan Vortexes. We got two Potion Cellars. Born from the Earth, pretty nice. River of Time, pretty nice. Adam Ackler, I mean, is pretty nice. Very nice. Um, Adduction Headless Coal Miner was definitely cool. And a Twin Meteor, what we started out with. Um, so, okay. You know, not a bad, not too bad of a box, but uh, not exactly what we were looking for there. Um, not really going to sate my <laughs> sate my hunger to open these, unfortunately. I mean, it would have been nice to get something to where I, you know, could sit back and not have these things burning a hole in my pocket. But uh, alas, here we are. So again, uh, you know, stay tuned. Um, I want to open up that first edition box. I did order it. Uh, when am I going to do it? I don't know. We're actually pretty close to 100 subs, so I might do it at 100 subs. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, thanks for coming by and checking out these cards with me. Uh, again, let me know if you guys know anything about sending in cards with so many autographs, because it was hard to find that information for me. But uh, let me know in the comments if you can. That'd be great. All right, see ya.